Hi, let's see if we can find an Aetna provider. If you are curious about the series or looking for help or have additional questions, take a look at the About the Series video. Uh, that should explain most of it. But again, if you're looking for help, if you are looking for uh, answers to any additional questions, feel free to contact me. I'd be more than happy to help you out and direct you to other folks uh, that, that may be able to uh, help out as well. All right, here we go. So what we're going to do is look at Aetna.com. There we go. There we are. Click Find a Doctor. There we are. Since we aren't a member yet, uh, we're going to go over here on the right-hand side. I'm not a member yet. Uh, plan from an employer. So remember, if you are an employee looking over the plans that your employer has provided you, if you're a broker, uh, or if you're an employer, and you're looking for doctors, let's say for key employees and management. Uh, this is uh, an excellent resource uh, to make sure that the doctors that your key employees prefer are in the network and are part of the plans that you're trying to offer them for coverage. And now we can start searching for the doctors. So if you know their name, you can type it here. Uh, if you know their specialty, let's say you want an OBG, uh, OBGYN in the area, if you want a pediatrician, uh, if you want to, if there's a specific ortho doctor that you're looking for, you can type in their name here. Uh, most of the time it, it'll pop up. Uh, for example, let's say I want Dr. Fong right here. You know, it'll say any location. Uh, if, you know, you're in a particular area and you see the doctor, you go, oh, you know, that's my doctor. Um, let's click on them it'll automatically populate the zip code here of where they're located. If you don't know the, the doctor, you just kind of want to browse, just type in your zip code. I'm going to do 90039. And you know what? I want a family practice. I want a family practice doctor. And I'm going to click search. So this is where it's going to ask you to put in a plan name. Now you might be in a situation where you don't know exactly what plan uh, is being offered or you're not 100% confident on the network. Uh, that's okay. Most of the time it's between three plans, uh, three types of plans uh, on the HMO side. I'm going to scroll down here and look for the Aetna Standard Plans. Aetna Standard Plans, HMO. So that's their full network HMO. It's every doctor that they contract with. Uh, we're in California, so there are two other levels. So scrolling up at the top, we've got the state-based plans. Now, we've got a slightly smaller network to choose from, the Aetna Value Network, or AVN. And when you're looking at your plan design, it'll show AVN, or it'll say Value Network HMO Plan, and it'll say something like Gold or Platinum HMO 0 slash 30. We'll talk about those a little bit later. Uh, the next and most limited network is the Aetna Basic HMO. Uh, the reason why Aetna and other carriers have done this they really wanted to give you, the employee and employers, a cheaper option without sacrificing benefits. So if you wanted a $0 uh, deductible, if you wanted a coinsurance that was 10%, you wanted the best of the best plan, but you just couldn't really pay for that, well, instead of sacrificing those benefits, they lowered the amount of doctors that you can go see. Uh, luckily, the limited networks are still you know pretty robust and most of the time you can find your doctor in the lower networks so you can still get the better benefits at the lower cost um, right now I'm just gonna click Aetna Value Network it's kind of the middle of the road 
and I'm going to click continue. There we are. So it pops up all of the results in the area. So as we scroll down, we see the doctors. Uh, these are all family practitioners. Uh, you'll see that with each doctor that's listed, it'll say over here on the right hand side in network. It'll also show the medical groups that they're affiliated with. Now on an HMO policy, with every doctor that you look at, they're all part of a particular medical group. Being on an HMO plan, you can't just see any doctor in the state. So there's a particular medical group like UCLA Medical Group, UC Davis, uh, Regal Medical, um, uh, HPN, Lakeside. So when you're assigning yourself a doctor, you're also assigning yourself a group of doctors. So you're only allowed to see those doctors within Regal Medical Group. So always remember that you go to your primary care physician, and that physician will refer you out to a specialist within, in this case, Regal Medical Group or whatever medical group that you're assigned. Now on the right-hand side, look at here, see accepted plans. So this goes back to if you're really unfamiliar with the network or the plan that you're being offer offered, you can click on see accepted plans with any doctor that shows up. And when you click on that, it shows every single network that they accept. Remember before, we've got these standard plans, the HMO, the full network HMO that they do accept. They also accept the Aetna Value Network. Now if they accepted the most limited, that Aetna Basic HMO, it would have shown up here. But since it doesn't, it means that this particular doctor doesn't take the most limited plan. So when making your plan selection, you want to make sure that the HMO plan says value network or HMO network. And that's it. If you have any other questions, again, contact me and check out the About Me series. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, always strive to better yourself. Thank you.